Hey everyone! Um, haven't made a video in a while, and uh, that's because my camera broke, my video camera, and then my cell phone camera broke, but I ended up getting a new cell phone, and it's a lot better, so hopefully this will come out good quality and you can hear me. And Cecily. You haven't seen her in a while. Um, she is almost 14 months now. Say hi. And she is adorable. You say hi. <laughs> um, she likes seeing herself in the in the camera because uh, we're doing the self recording mode. But anyway, sorry I look like a hot mess today. Um, but I wanted to do an update on the illumination communication um, or you know natural infant hygiene or whatever you want to call it. Um, but basically, Sessy going to the potty, um, and so things kind of got crazy for a little while and. Um, kind of got kind of lazy with it, I guess. To be honest, I got lazy with it, and uh, and she was doing so well and telling me so well. Um, and the thing is, is that you get in this pattern with it, and you know your baby signs, and you know when they're gonna go, like you know their patterns throughout the day, and then suddenly those change because they change constantly. You know, they're growing so fast at this age that one day they're like one thing, and one day they're like the next. So. Um, anyway, um, so it's been really frustrating to, in this new stage, this independent, I want to do it myself stage, uh, she was wearing just underwear and trainers and doing really great, having no misses, uh, and then she became super mobile where she's cruising and standing. And now she has like little tantr tamper tantrums or whatever. And she throws a fit if I... I know she has to go. So she'll tell me, I have to go, I have to go. Uh, sometimes even going as far as pointing to the potty. So I try to sit her down on it. And sometimes she will and she'll go. And, uh, and that's great. But other times she gets really frustrated and doesn't want to sit on it. And she just like does like the noodle where like they go completely nimp, limp and just throw themselves around crying. Um, and so that's a mess. Or uh, she'll stiffen up and won't let me sit her down. So what ends up happening is she will refuse to go on there. So um, I refuse to put like she refuses to wear diapers. She won't do it. She hates them. I mean, who would like that? Though? Who would like pee or poop sitting next to them? Anyway, um... So she will, what happens is, this is what she wants to do. She wants to lay down completely flat on her stomach on the ground. And then um, she puts her feet kind of in like a froggy position, laid flat on the ground, and then goes. So it gets like all over herself. And I mean, she'll poop this way too. And I'm like, I don't understand why she wants to go like that. I mean, I, am, I understand that sitting is, she is talking up a storm over here. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but sitting down, the way that we sit on toilets and little potties is not the most instinctual way to go to the restroom, to like go potty, to poop and pee, uh, especially pooping. And so I think that it just feels so wrong to her that she doesn't want to do that. So I'm trying to figure out a way that she can squat standing or, um, see if standing in a certain way, like maybe over the potty or something would, um work better for her and she would be happier doing that. Hi, Sessie. Um, but I don't know. So, just trying to figure that out right now. Kind of frustrated. I can take her to the big potty, but um, the toddler kind of uses that as a, a way to uh, get into things. So, because he knows that she'll be sitting in there on the potty for a while. And if I bring him in there with me, he messes with her. So, I'm just trying to figure out what works. Uh, I, I thought about getting a taller potty so she's not as sunk down in, or, yeah, as sunk down into it, but it seems like with the little potty, she's in a more squatting position, so I don't understand why she would be, maybe it's more of just that power struggle, that independent, I want to do it myself struggle, but, um, I seem to get peed on a little more, and, uh, she, like I said, the floor stuff is really frustrating, um, I don't want to put down a puppy pad and just have her pee on the floor, like, that's not okay with me, I don't, I don't want that to... So, um, anyway, we're just in a transition period trying to figure that out. Um, but she does wear trainers and underwear most of the time. Sometimes I put her in her diaper when we're going out because she will refuse to use the toilets while we're out. So, um, I'm going to start bringing my little travel potty with me and see if that would work better. 
but uh, she'll tell me I have to go, I have to go. We go, and then she refuses to go on the big potty. Um, so I don't know if it's just that she's not used to that or what, but... Um, other than that, she's doing really good. I mean, she's telling me, I think that it'll only take about six months and, uh, she'll, because of this independent streak, she'll want to potty independently. So leave the potty down, she'll crawl to it and go. It's just, uh, getting her comfortable again going on the little potty. Um, part of me wonders if it makes more sense to try to just make going to the big potty work because, um, sorry, my nose is itchy. Because if, uh, she is used to that, then there's no transitioning period later. So, we'll see what we're going to do, but it has been going great. I mean, it's a lot better than her being diaper trained right now and not even close to being completely potty independent, so that's good. Uh, lots of bonuses there. Um, and, oh goodness, and she just seems happier not being in diapers and whatever else. So, uh, she does go all night, usually, without going. Um, and then it does a really big pee in the morning. So, oh, she wants to nurse right now. Hold on, let me get it out. Just a second. Um, but, yeah. Oops. Don't mind the scratch marks on my chest right here. I, um, I have <laughs> found out that I am, uh, gluten intolerant. And, uh, because of this, I, I mean, I'm just, I've been having a hard time accepting it. So I ate some gluten and I broke out in a rash and scratched it in my sleep. So that's what that is. Wonderful. It's, it's very attractive. <laughs> but anyway, she's doing good with EC. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, you know, I think it's the more hygienic way to go right now. And that it's really going to transition positively into her being potty independent. So it's just kind of finding what works for them. Uh, she is usually naked around the house, so that kind of, that's kind of awesome. Um, and I'm trying to, um, figure out a way for her to sign that she has to go potty, because that might be easier for her. I know that kind of takes her time. Is it too late now that she's almost 14 months? I don't know. If anyone has done, that does EC, has done signing, or you just have done, you know, signing in general, where you teach baby signs, um, sign language... Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, just let me know, and uh, if you have any tips or what to use for that, or how to get started with that, or if it's too late for that, just let me know, because um, I think signing would be very good for her, because she seems frustrated that she can't fully express herself. Uh, she's only babbling uh, right now, so, and I'm, I'm kind of, as she's getting closer to walking, she stands, she's taken first steps, but she's not really interested in walking yet, but I'm sure it'll be soon. I, I wonder if her focusing on the walking is what's preventing her from fully focusing on um, pottying right now. So I wonder if when she's made that transition and is comfortable, things will change when she can walk to the potty, all of that. So we will see what happens. I will update about what happens. Um, Anyway, let me show you her, and then uh, I will see you guys for another video soon. Where's Sessie? There she is. Where did Sessie? Where she is? Where'd she go? Ses? Sessie? Sessie, baby. Yeah. Uh-oh. I love you.